Professional wrestling has been around for over 100 years, but only 10 wrestlers can be considered the top 10 that have ever laced up their boots. Charlotte Flair is a 14-time champion, the greatest women's champion of all time, and is clearly in a class by herself. With the evolution of women's wrestling over the last few years, it is best to do a separate list for women when the dust is more settled. At number 10 on the list is Kurt Angle. He is a 1996 Olympic gold medalist. He is a four-time WWE champion. He is a six-time TNA champion and also won two WCW world titles. His final match was a loss to Baron Corbin at WrestleMania 35 in 2019. Number 9 on the list is Brock Lesnar. He is a 10-time WWE champion. He had a 504-day championship reign as Universal Champion, which is one of the longest title runs in history. However, Lesnar has often wanted to be the main attraction, while only willing to work part-time. Randy Orton makes the top 10 list at number 8. He is a 14-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Orton won his 14th world title when he defeated Drew McIntyre at Hell in the Cell in October of 2020. He would arguably be higher up on this list, but he has often had short championship reigns. In at number 7 is Hulk Hogan. He is arguably the original modern-day face or good guy persona of wrestling. He is a six-time WWE champion, with his main title runs during the 1980s. However, he also had title runs in both WCW and Impact Wrestling. He had his last WWE match at SummerSlam vs. Randy Orton in 2006. The Rock holds the number 6 spot on this list. He has not been a full-time wrestler since 2004, and has not had a wrestling match since 2016 when he wrestled Eric Rowan at WrestleMania 32. However, despite leaving the business full-time at the age of 32 to pursue a career in Hollywood, he has the 10th most overall title runs in WWE history, including 8 WWE Champion reigns. Breaking into the top 5 is Stone Cold Steve Austin. When the glass broke and his music played, the crowd erupted. He was the original anti-authority figure, with his endless battles against Vince McMahon. Knee and neck issues ultimately cut his career short, but he did have one final match in 2022 at WrestleMania 38 vs Kevin Owens. Taking the fourth spot on the list is Triple H. He is a 14-time World Heavyweight Champion. He is arguably the biggest heel in WWE history. The intensity of his focus was always written on his face. No one could doubt the passion that he had for the sport of wrestling. At number 3, The Undertaker is the greatest big man in the history of the business. The Undertaker won a record 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches until he was defeated by Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30 in 2014. He went on to win four more matches at WrestleMania, finishing his WrestleMania career with a 25-2 record having lost to Roman Reigns in 2017 at WrestleMania 33. Runner-up on this list at number 2 is John Cena. He is a 16-time world champion, winning his last championship in 2017 at the Royal Rumble. Since then, like The Rock, Cena has gone Hollywood, and over the last few years he has made very seldom appearances in the WWE. He is slated to wrestle Austin Theory at WrestleMania this year for the United States Championship. Finally, at number 1 is Ric Flair. Like John Cena, he is a 16-time World Heavyweight Champion. He won championships in the AWA, NWA, WCW, WWF, and WWE. He is the greatest champion of all time, wrestling his final match at the age of 73 in 2022. So, do you agree with our top 10 wrestlers list, or do you have different opinions on who should be on it? Leave who you'd add or take off this list in the comments below. Also, if you like this video and want to see more like it, 
then give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We post new videos every day.